Okay, uh, remember uh, when you participate, I need you to turn on your camera, okay? And uh, let's go. Today we are going to learn um, simple past, the simple past tense. First, uh, um, we try to recognize um, the verbs that we find here. Okay, I need you, um, uh, I need you uh, to write the difference um, of the verbs in the simple present and, and the past is in this um, column. Uh, so we, um, here we have uh, the base form in the simple present and here we have uh, the past uh, simple. So I need you um, figure out uh, the difference because uh, there are two ways to change to simple past. We have the irregular verbs and regular verbs. So when you use irregular, you have to change to this form because uh, we, uh, we don't change just a letter. So we have to change the verb, uh, the way of the verb. So we don't have to change the, we, get, we don't have to add the D or ED. For example, we have here the verb have. In the simple present, I say, I have a, a, a cell phone, a new cell phone. But uh, I, um, when we change to simple past, we change uh, the old verb. For example, we have here, I had a cell phone. Here we have do, and we change to did. So when we use regular verb, we just add ed. For example, look, I look to the stars. In past is I looked. We um, pronounce out at the end uh, a d. I look, I look. How to change the verb make? Francisco, please change the verb make to past. My made yes when you are going to say something that happened in the past you have to use made please kevin can you change the verb come please the verb come yes. come it's here came yes it's good gabriel could you change the verb start it here started muy bien very good <laughs> it started good job so has this verb is in past so i need you tell me what do you think is the simple present form please uh, alexander please tell me what is the in the simple present form was word. Uh, was word. Yes. Tell me which, which is the simple form. The simple present tense. For example, was word is the infinitive verb be, but in when you are going to use in a sentence, you are going to use is are. So the simple present form is, is, is an R. And the simple past always be, uh, was and were. Okay, next one. What do you think is um, broke? Francisco, what do you think is broke? No? Okay, is break. Break 
in past is broke. Broke in simple present is break. Make. When you see in your stack of your clock, you have to try to relate the word that you see in, in your environment. So make is in the simple present tense and made with D, made is in a simple past. Had is the simple past of had. So now we are going to, to watch um, a video of the simple past. Please pay attention because I'm going to ask some questions. What are verb tenses? Verb tenses show the time that an action takes place. The simple past is a verb tense. We use the simple past tense for finished past actions. For example, I watched a movie yesterday. I ate dinner two hours ago. I was busy last week. With regular verbs, we use the verb plus ed to form the simple past. The verb form is the same for all subjects. For example, the simple past of the verb watch is watched. I walked my dog yesterday. She played the guitar at my party last month. The students studied last night. With irregular verbs, the verb changes into a different form. We do not use ED. Here are some examples of irregular verbs. Listen and repeat. Drink. Eat. Try to repeat, please. Eat. Eat. Go. Go. Went. Went. Have. Have. Had. Had. Run. Run. Ran. Ran. Say. Say. Said. Said. Sing, sing, sang, sang, sleep, sleep, slept, slept, write, write, wrote, wrote. The verb form is the same for all subjects. For example, the simple past form of the verb eat is ate. You went to Paris two years ago. My dog slept on my bed last night. We drank coffee yesterday morning. B is the only simple past verb that changes forms for different subjects. The two simple past forms of the verb be are was and were. I was cold yesterday afternoon. My dog was hungry. My new shoes were expensive. Look at the picture and say or write a simple past sentence. For example, they ate pizza last night. 
Now you try. Please, Francisco, help me. Which is the correct form in past? The drink. I, mm -hmm, coffee yesterday morning. I drank coffee yesterday morning. I drank, yes. I drank yester coffee dress yesterday morning. Well done. Let's continue with Gabriel. Miria, play it. Yes, he played. In simple present is played, but in past is played with the at the end. He played the guitar yesterday or the guitar but it's well done. Please help me, Kevin. She watched TV last night. Yes, good job. Please help me, Alexander. Fill the gap. Uh, we went to Paris eight years ago. Yes. Well done. So until there. Let's continue with the lesson. So I going to some. Um, no. I want some one of you tell me what um, understand of the video, please. Francisco, could you help me explaining what do you understand of the video? Yes. Doesn't matter if you make a wrong, just try. Tell me, Gabriel. Que se aumenta la E, D o la D. Yes, good. Another one. What happened when we use the verb to be? Was it work? Yes, we use, we are going to use where with the singular form was and the plural we are going to use where. Okay, I'm going to make a sum. I try to uh, do quickly, okay? What is the simple tense? The simple past tense express an action that happened in the past. Uh, and taking a place once on uh, um, several times, but in the past. Action in the middle of another action. And remember, when you make a sentence, you always uh, have to write a subject, the verb, and the complement. In the in this case, uh, the we are going to use the personal pronouns. Uh, the verb with the um, uh, plus ed or d and the time expression of past tense. For example, last night, last week, last weekend, last month, last year, last Monday, 10 minutes ago, an hour ago, three days, days ago. So remember, this is the time expression for past tense. Can you see? Let's continue. Here we have the structure with the, the verb, 
uh, the regular verb and irregular. And in this one, we have to the um, verb to be formed in past. So you can see the both is the same structure. Subject, uh, the verb in the simple past, and the object or complement. In the, the verb to be, we are going to use the same structure, subject, but in this case will be the was or were and the object. For example, in the any verb that you use will be he played football. In verb to be, they were friends. When you made in the negative, we are going to use in the verb to be, we are going to use just the the word not they were friends they weren't friends okay in the uh, another verb we are going to use the auxiliar remember in the simple present tense we need the auxiliar do in this case we are going to use in past did or did not. And the verb we are going to use in the um, infinity form. Can you see? We uh, write, he did not play football. Just no question, it's always going to start with the auxiliary. In this, in this case, we are used did. After that, we are going to use subject, base form, an object or complement. Did he pay, play football? Okay, you are going to answer, yes, he did, no, he didn't. In the, uh, when we use verb to be, always it's gonna be a start with was or were. In this case is, were the, they friends? Ellos fueron amigos, were they friends? So we are answer, um, yes, they were, or no, they weren't. And with the WH question, it's like the just not question, but we are going to use what, where, or, or which. After that, we are going to use did, subject, base form, and object. Okay, please, we are going to do this activity with me. Okay. Um, you can see the, the, the list of regular verbs and the irregular verbs. Can you see? Here we have to put in the correct um, column. Please help me, um, Gabriel. Please help me. What do you think it's going to be here? Elijo cualquiera. Yes, but the correct. For example, um, when you change or turn to past simple, uh, you have to put ed, but you have to recognize which one is in regular and you or irregular. For example, uh, write. When you turn to past simple, you change to wrote. So you don't add ed. So this one is gonna be here in regular. Play in regular. Watch in regular. Great. Like in regular. Good. Until there. Thank you, Gabriel. Francisco, please help me. Click, 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 click. <laughs> uh, Estudien en regular. Um, go en in regular. Head en in regular. Half. Yes, half. Listen the in regular. No, that is regular because you put a uh, listen it. Okay. Thank you. Kevin, can you help me, please? Okay. It in irregular, yeah. B in irregular, C in irregular, clean are regular. Good. Thank you. Are... <laughs> but, but thank you, thank you. Sorry for interrupt you. Please, Alexander, can you help me with three more, please? Yes, teacher. Um, visit is re regular. Yes, because we add ed. Okay. Uh -huh. A break is irregular. Yes. And paint is irregular. Mm, paint is regular because we just add, add a ed. Yes, I, I say it. 
irregular. Okay, okay. I'm so sorry. I, I, I said irregular. Thank you, Alexander. A smile we use in regular because we just add that. And send is irregular because change to send. So, thank you. Let's continue with the next activity. Okay, please. You have to change this um, reading. Uh, you have to change uh, I, any sentence you want. It is in present. You have to change to past. Uh, for example, they are Venus and Serena, Serena Williams. So I change. Uh, they were Venus and Serena Williams. So do you understand what you have to do? Yes. Yeah. Please, I'm going to share link in through the chat. Please enter there. Could you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You have to tap on this option in the plus. Can you see in the plus and appear a pencil? You have to tap there. Are you are going to write it? In the place said, escribe algo fantástico. So there you have to change the the read, the reading, please. Gabriel, could could you go on in the in the link? Yes, okay. Francisco, could you? No. Okay. So pay attention, please. Um, example was they they are. They are Venus and Serena, Serena Williams. So I have to change the verb in simple present to simple past. Okay, did you got it? So I press publicar and appear my sentences online. Please, try to do quickly, please. Kevin, could you go on, on the link? Yes, I am in the link. Okay, thank you. Okay, the first sentence is good. It's a good job. You change this one. They have this, they have that. Good. The next one will be we played with our heart. We played with our heart. We played with Yes, good job. It was a noticeable. Yes, this is a good. And the last one, they were born in the United States. They were. Okay, that's good. Okay, thank you for doing this activity. You understand, I think you understand the, the lesson. So good job. And let's continue. Please, in this activity, you have to try to change the um, this verb in the correct form in, in past. For example, my sister, tidy. So we have to change in past tense. Uh, my sister, tidy. Okay. And you have to change everything. I'm going to send you the link through the chat. I hope you can open. Please tell me if you have a problem with the link. Francisco, I have already sent uh, through the chat uh, the link for the activity. Please.
Okay, Alexander. Find the 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 worksheet. So uh, you get a uh, this grade, but don't worry. You are we are here to learn. You um, get wrong in this answer. When it, this verb is um, regular, that is a good start for you. Um, but um, you just have to change the letter Y. Uh, so you have to add change um, the letter Y in state of that you have to put it. That is the that is why you get a uh, wrong this answer. So the same uh, error or mistake you have here, you put the correct auxiliar and the negative form, but you um, change in, in the wrong way this verb. In this case, pay attention all of you. In this case, uh, remember when you change a, a yes or no question, uh, because you just have a one gap, you don't have two, you, want, you have one. So um, you have to change um, with the auxiliary past form. In this case, it's wrong because it's a um, verb to be. So, and in here, we don't have the verb to be, we have a, a simple verb. So you have to start with did. Did your sister tidy? So in this case, you use the, the way of the verb in the correct uh, form. That is a good job. But in the auxiliar, you use the wrong. The next one, you have the, the, the same mistake. And the option C, you have the same mistake. But you uh, change a... Um, uh, the verb live and uh, talk, uh, you change very good. Live and talk. Here we have, yes, correct, correct. You have the same uh, mistake of the um, first option. Here you have, a, this is a regular verb. That is why you get a, 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 a wrong answer. You have to double the letter P, so you have to stop it. Thank you. So, aquí, so here you have not study. So you have to uh, use the auxiliary to do, yes, like you, um, option eight, you do, you used uh, the auxiliary and put a verb. So here is a regular verb. You have to write it. In. Here, did remember the auxiliary, but in past did the end of that. Did the left? You are great. Just pay attention when you uh, change the. The simple past to the simple person to simple past. Okay, Kevin, yeah, you have get 10. You are correct. Let's continue with Gabriel. So, Gabriel, so you have to change in past. You don't, you don't put it good. So, guys, try to, to, to read the, the assignment, please. So here is the, the clue. So you have to do the same that they explained in the lecture worksheet. So, so it, the same way I explained you, you have to change this verb to past form. That is when that you make. Here is another mistake. You just don't change to past. You uh, use the 
the verb to be like auxiliary, but in this case, you don't have to use it because leave uh, is an um, infinitive form of the verb and where you are using, you are, you, in this sentence, you aren't, uh, you did, you don't, <clears throat> in this sentence, you don't use um, the verb to be like an auxiliary. You are using the just the auxiliary do, but in the past form that in this case it's gonna be where I sorry, it's gonna be did. So you have to use did did. Okay. And that is the same verb here, um mistake. You have the same mistake, but the all you made well. So try to to check the PowerPoint presentation to the next time do better. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, thank you for coming today. And I wait you. I wait for you tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. Thank you. Please guys, um, turn on your camera, please. Just for a moment, just for evidence, please. Thank you.